Live now to Sydney, we're taking you to the New South Wales Premier Dominic Perrottet. He is speaking about the club's New South Wales saga. We make the decisions in a considered way once we've worked through every single issue and when we release our response, you will see that. Do you think some of the targeted acts on particular members, independent member, Helen Dalton, the way that that has been so targeted in her community at her local clubs, do you think those sorts of measures are... Well, let's be, let's, let's, let's be, let's, let, let's be fair, Dinkum, here. As you go into an election, there are third-party campaigners, uh, the largest one of which is the union movement. The union movement targets members right across our state as well. People have the right to advocate for their positions. That is what happens in a robust functioning democracy. I welcome that. If, you're, if you believe what you're doing is right, you have absolutely nothing to fear. You advocate your case, other people will have different opinions. It's always the case. Um, I respect that. I think it's part of the great political uh, system uh, that we're part of. But ultimately, we're elected, we make decisions, we consider things properly, we don't respond in relation to um, you know, running commentary on matters. I have said from the outset, the number one recommendation, the number one recommendation in this report is cashless gaming. That's what, that's what we are doing. That's what we are doing. It's, in, it's the number one. This is a detailed report put together by the New South Wales Crime Commission. And in that report, in that report, it says very clearly to move to cashless gaming in New South Wales. Under Labor, they don't even address the number one recommendation in this report. That's exactly what you'll see from the Liberals and the Nationals. James and then Tasman. I'm focused on responding. I'm focused on responding to the Crime Commission report. That's what I'm doing. That's what that's that's what the New South Wales government um, is doing uh, in relation to this matter. Now I have said, James. I have said prior to this, prior to this, that I have a concern with problem gambling in New South Wales. I've made no secret. I've made no secret about that. And any person who thinks we don't have a problem in New South Wales with people throwing their life savings down a poker machine uh, is wrong. Well, Josh Landis didn't think that. Josh Landis said that there wasn't actually that much evidence. To leave Dominic Perrottet, it's a busy afternoon.